Many years ago, when I was getting ready to retire, the big question that everybody asked me, what are you going to do? And I thought, retire, you don't have to do anything. You can do whatever you want to. So one Sunday in church, Bruce from the pulpit announced that we had a partnership with Faith Cafe. Faith Hope and Gloria Emerson and I went down to a training one night. Once I got there, it, it grabbed my heart and it just captured me. Our church is responsible for the first two Fridays of the month. And I think through the group of faithful, loyal volunteers that we have there, I have gotten to know so many people in a different way that I would have ever known them in church. My favorite part of serving at Faith Cafe is when we all gather in a prayer circle before we open the doors to our guest and what wonderful blessings we all have that we are able to serve others and that we get so much more from it than we give to them. It's just, it fills our hearts. Every single time that I come, I'm amazed at the people that will peek their head in the door and say, thank you, God bless you, have a wonderful day. That's what we should be saying to them, and that's just the feeling that we get from everybody, that they're grateful that we are doing what we do. We get our food from Metropolitan Ministries. They will send a meat, a starch, and a vegetable every day. But then we take the leftovers from the day before and make a wonderful soup to serve. We have lots of donations that come from Publix, from Wright's Gourmet, from Winn-Dixie, from Starbucks. And just recently, Outback and Carabas has partnered with us as well to provide food. So it's, it's a great place to be. We have a lot of volunteers that have been there from the very beginning with us. Not the least would be Bob Spall, who has helped us as the shower monitor. Gloria makes the soup. Gail comes and makes the coffee and the drinks. We all have our own little special niche. Mary Jo, Leslie, and Nancy serve in the dining room with a smile and a wide open heart. Charlie, Erilyn, and John Gray go to Metropolitan Ministries to pick up our food. And Fred Butler, what would we do without our snowbirds? Fred and Lynn Kiter have come and they help us quite often too when they're down here in Florida. And then there's Don and Ellen Stichter who, Don comes every week and plays music on his instrument. And Ellen comes every week and just provides us with happiness. Well, of course we knew about it from the, from the church. And uh, it was a project that the church wanted to undertake, and I wanted to be part of it. I had the time to do it. It was my idea to make the to make the operation work with the musical entertainment, and I had to ask them if they would mind if I tried it to see if it worked. They haven't pulled the the hook on me yet. If you're in the kitchen, you're either doing dishes, you're serving the soup in the bowls, or you're serving the food on the plates. Then we pass it to the window, and our dining room crew will actually serve our guests as they are seated at the table. We try to treat this as a fine quality restaurant, and they are our guests. We will also clear their food away, offer them seconds, fill up their drinks for them, and then serve desserts. Because who doesn't love dessert? What a bite. <laughs> we usually serve anywhere between 50 and 90 meals, depending on what time of the month it is. Usually our first two Fridays of the month, we generally get 60 people. I've been doing this for four years. I don't see it ever ending. It's something that... I, I want to do forever. We've had pretty much the same core of volunteers since our church took this on, but there's always room for more. I know that we just recently finished a series about making a difference, but these people are making a difference in my life much more than I'm making a difference in theirs. 
If you're interested in volunteering, you need two hands, two feet, and an open heart. That's all. We are giving on the job training, which consists of here are your gloves, here's the plate, put your smile on. It is very easy. It requires no special skills whatsoever.